Now when we have our authentication system, let's build the navigation and separate it in the includes directory. So first, I'm going to cut this navigation part and under the views directory, I'm going to create a new one called includes. Now under the includes, I'm going to create a new view named navigation. And I'm just going to paste it here. Now let's go to the master view and include the navigation from the includes directory. And if I refresh now, everything should be the same. Great. So first we need to set the routes and the links that we want to appear on the navigation. And if you noticed, we have this app.blade.php, which was generated by the Laravel authentication system. So we can just ignore it for now. Let's open our web views and we need to give the names to these routes. So we can call this one index. This one can be named single post. This is the about page. Contact. This one is contact post. And here is the home, which already has the name. Okay. So now instead of using this href, we're going to use the route name, which in this case is going to be. So this one is index. Then we have another route which is about and now we are going to remove this because you don't want a single post to be accessible through the navigation it just doesn't make sense now create for the contact and now we want to display the login and the register links if user is not currently authenticated so the way to do that we are going to use if going to use out and then check function now everything inside here inside this if is going to appear only if the user is authenticated so we can create this one named home. Let's actually go in the routes and rename this one to dashboard and this one to dashboard. And now we'll actually have to change this slash home in some other files as well, such as the redirect if authenticated middleware. Now, if the user is authenticated, we just want to redirect it to the main page. So we have this one in the reset password controller. This is the register controller. and the login controller. 
I think we are done with it now. Just make sure you don't edit anything that is inside the vendor folder. Okay, everything looks good. And now inside the navigation, we can set this one to dashboard. Great, so the if user is authenticated, it's only going to display this dashboard instead of the login and register. We are going to use else, and here we are going to define login and register. Now let's see if it actually works. Okay, as you can see, we have about page, which is working, contact page, home, login, and the register. Okay, let's see what is going to happen once we log in as you can see we only see this dashboard link here now beside the dashboard i think we should add logout functionality as well but since logout is only accepting the post request We'll have to create a form here, which is going to route named logout, and under the form, we need to implement CSRF field. To make the logout on the click on this, we need to give this form an ID of, let's call it logout form. We're not going to use any href here, so we can remove this element. Now I'm going to use on click, which is equals document dot get element by ID. Under here we are going to define the ID of the form, which is logout form, and we are going to submit it. Good, so let's take a refresh here. As you can see, we have the logout button here. Now, if we hover over the logout, you can see that we don't have this finger for the click. So what we can do is we can add an href and make it a dead link. So let's refresh now, as you can see the finger is now appearing and let's see if it works and we got an error that the method is not allowed that is because we forget to set the method to post here okay let's get back and try it once again and as you can see we are logged out now